Hello survivors and welcome to another Walking Dead Road to Survival video. In this video we're going to be claiming S-Class Priya and this is happening a lot quicker than I expected it to. Obviously I claimed the first 5 star ascendable last week. If you remember I did post a video on my channel about that and that my decision basically to go for Priya over the other ascendables. And I was around about 1200 ice cream cones away from getting the second ascendable. So I decided to start going in on some tournaments. I did have a lot of SR cans saved up and I managed to come first place. I think I hit 700k points and basically that gets me a choice crate where I could choose between five star tokens or a thousand ice cream cones. And that pretty much enabled me to get that second ascendable. And then a solo level up tournament came out where I came first place in that. And that again gave me a choice crate this time with five star tokens and 2000 ice cream cones and that's what you require to claim S class Priya once you've got those two six stars maxed out which I managed to do during those tournaments. So we did manage to claim S class Priya and she has been maxed out at tier one already nice and quick. I am kind of low on the low tier gear as you can see with the upgrades. I had to max out two six star Priyas which obviously uses the same gear and I Basically, when these roadmaps pop up, I'm going to go through them. And when the leagues reset, I'm going to just buy everything in the leagues pretty much. Now, I maxed out her rush already. And she, like I said, she is maxed out at tier one. She's going to be hitting very hard already. That's 8.2k attack with her leader skill. Obviously, 50% extra attack is huge. Her weapon is not upgraded. I have got that in the armory already, though. I'm going for 40% attack and a huge bonus to AP when attacking. These are the mods I've gone with. Probably not a good idea, if I'm honest. It's probably a safer bet to go with defense, just to try and get a little bit of a safety net in there. But I have gone for a revive on my attack team with her. The biggest issue I've found is that I kind of lack the AP at the moment. Because her weapon's not fully upgraded, a medium bonus to AP when attacking is not enough at the moment. So I am going to be taking a command until her weapon is fully upgraded. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a couple of test raids. Nothing too spectacular. This is her at tier 1, so you just have to take that into consideration. I'm going to max her out as an S-Class character. I have got the veteran rings ready as well. The second I get the gear, I'm going to go for it. So this is the team I'm going to be using again nothing too spectacular here just kind of setting up for Priya and Krista in terms of command for Priya at the moment and Earl is just in there basically to disarm and Eric's just there as a safety net I don't really need too much else at the moment once Krista and Priya start getting up the tiers like Krista's fairly close to tier three now with the amount of knives we've been given and Priya will just be tier four as soon as I can get the, my hands on that low tier gear so against basic gen two six star teams it should pretty much wipe the floor with them I, I'm going to say that before I actually start the attack, but it should it should pretty much wipe the floor with them in terms of just getting through it nice and quick. I don't need anything to bypass too much and we don't even need to command a character there. Maybe we should have, maybe we should have, we can command someone here though. Let's just take out Eric. So she's doing reasonable damage. She's only got 8.2k attack, which is pretty high, but Chris has got, as you can see, Chris has got a lot more. Um, let me see if I can get some AP downs in here. Yeah, I've managed one. They're just chaining. They're just chaining. I hate it. Um, so there's no active possibility now on this character, Denise. And this is where the active block is going to be really useful because. Denise has got a revive active. Now, it's not too powerful a revive active because it's got eight turn cooldown, but the other characters like Mia, for instance, who's got a two turn cooldown, it's going to be very, very useful against someone like that. But also, it's blocked, as you can see, um, Douglas, who has a confuse active skill, which is very frustrating sometimes. Let's get her rush. Didn't do too much damage. I think even his active is like impair or something like that. So blocking active is gonna be so, so useful. Okay, managed to find a Donny team. Nothing too spectacular again here. Um, 
Like, here we go. This is the sort of active that is pretty useful against because, obviously, he's got a revive active. It has got an initial cooldown of four. I didn't realise it was so high for him, to be honest. But also, Chris, does damage has been buffed as well because of this, this lead skill. Oof, that's a basic attack. Um, let me just hit that, and I'll probably use her before she does her active, because I couldn't block her active, and I'll just risk him getting some AP. As you can see, Priya's kind of low on HP. So I think I probably will get into the... Uh, like, I mean, it's nice when she crits, though. It really is nice when she crits. Look at that, 6.5k crit. I mean, that is alert, but it was, it was an S-class character. So I did search around a bit to try and find a harder team, and I came across this team with, obviously, Pete Leeds, which is the S-class Pete. And then we have Raven, who I, as you can see, days turn one, and that's going to be the one of the best uses of prayer. It's just going to be able to get rid of those turn one actors, which is so frustrating because right now I would not be gaining AP from these attacks on the shield after disarming them, and I am now, which is great. Obviously, the other two characters are pretty decent. Bide character in Ryan, and then we also have Zachary. And the sort of damage output I have on here is is not too bad. Priya does quite a lot of damage. A bit too much damage in some cases. I uh, mistakenly basic attacked Ryan thinking it wouldn't be too bad. Um, but she does a lot of damage to Pete with her rush. I think in the future obviously she's going to do a lot more damage because she's only tier 1 maxed out at the moment. No veteran rings, nothing like that. And this was a maxed out Pete. So in the future it's going to get better. But as you'll see, I basic attack Ryan. And I did not, I just didn't assume it was going to do this sort of damage straight off the bat she as she hasn't got any defensive mods either so she's she's gonna get absolutely wrecked by that potentially i could use a revive in an attack team and make that a non-issue in the future but um obviously the best way to deal with both characters is just to rush them with someone like chris to just destroy them basically um, but I'm, I'm happy enough with uh with how you know i saw this going i know she's gonna get stronger and stronger and stronger as you know the the weeks go on and yeah i'm, I'm pretty pleased with how the I'm seeing Priya sort of fight at the moment. I just have to come up with the right sort of teams to use her on. She's basically going to be my anti-everything team except Eric pretty much going forward. So when it comes to my future attack and defense teams, I'm thinking I probably would actually use Priya for a defense team leader. And if I eventually got my hands on Pete Anderson, who I probably would go for as my next S-Class character, I'm most likely going to go for Raulito as a 5-star Ascendable. And that way I can get crosshairs nice and easy. And then you've got some decaps in the mix with Priya on attack, which is going to be really, really handy once Priya is maxed out. I could potentially eventually get Raulito as an S-Class character, but I won't be too mega focused on that if I'm honest. I think Pete is probably the best option to go for just to make my defense a little bit more solid. I kind of need a, a few more sort of utility characters for attack and defense. I don't really have anyone too spectacular within range characters. I mean, for a defense team, characters like Douglas and first turn control, like Cold is going to be quite useful. And maybe even using a shield because... If you don't have someone who can get past or through shields nice and quick, Priya and Krista are going to absolutely destroy. So that's going to be quite a nice option there. So give me your thoughts on what kind of characters I could use on my attack team here and my defense team in terms of, you know, trying to make things happen quickly. Sadiq's always a good option on defense. I could use Mackenzie as well because Retribution obviously would give AP to the S-Class characters. And if they didn't take out Mackenzie first she's got her active revive which is pretty nice so I've definitely got some options just give me your thoughts on the sort of characters maybe that you use with your Priya and your Krista if you have them in the same team on defense or attack so that's gonna be S-class Priya I'm gonna be creating some more content around her in the next couple of weeks I'll probably have her ready for the next war fingers crossed and I'm really looking forward to actually being able to use some of my veteran rings because I have been holding off you guys know 
If you've watched my streams, I've just said like, I'm holding off for the first S-Class character and they're gonna get maxed instantly. It does cost 60 veteran rings to max out a character, a lot of gear as well, but I think S-Class characters, is, it's just the best way to go with your veteran rings pretty much. But that is the end of my video, guys. Thank you very much for tuning in. And as always, keep on surviving, guys. Keep on surviving.